Rita Colwell's work is a special blend of intuition, technology, and a lot of tenacity. She needed all three and more as she swam against the current to unravel the clues to waterborne disease. In my own research on cholera, it's an example of interdisciplinary science, serendipitous science, and the ability of science to improve the health of all people. Colwell theorized that cholera bacteria attached to plankton enter a dormant stage in cold, clean water between epidemics. When water temperature rose, their numbers increased, but skeptics were lukewarm to the idea. Yet Colwell persisted for more than 30 years. And when models using satellite data eventually proved her right, a clear relationship between climate and disease outbreaks was established. In a study involving more than 130,000 women in Bangladesh, Colwell taught them to filter drinking water through sari cloth as a way to remove the plankton and particulates, thereby reducing the number of cholera cases by half. Today, Colwell continues her research at the University of Maryland College Park. Appointed as the first woman director of the National Science Foundation, Colwell sought to bring more women and minorities into engineering and the sciences and to build a strong foundation for future research and discovery. NSF and its very short 50 years has pervaded the lives of all citizens of this country. We are now moving into a new sociology of science where it is collaborative and interactive, where one discipline actually defines another discipline in a new and different way. It's an extraordinarily exciting time.